Hello everybody, this is Sasso Tutorials. Today we'll be doing a quick video here on how to make a C++ program to calculate pay, net pay, or gross pay and net pay as well for all taxes and all that good stuff. So we have our project made here in Microsoft Visual Studio. This is the 2012 version. So we have an empty project here. We'll go ahead and add new item. I have C++ there. We'll just call it calculate pay. Okay, and then first we'll have some comments here. Uh, who you are, also tutorials, and then usually you can put what the program does or what it's for. Use a do while loop and an if else statement. You have user input data and display the correct values. Okay, start a program off, include IO stream using namespace std and our name main uh, void main here. Do get our curly bracket set up. Okay, and the first thing we'll do in the actual program we will declare the constant variables. These are variables that never change throughout the whole program. So for these it's const, constant, and then these will be double, which means they have a decimal point, or like percentages and whatnot. So for these, usually I capitalize them. So we'll have a federal rate for federal taxes equals 0 0.15 and then state rate for state taxes equals 0 0.05 for 50% 5% and then overtime rate was a 1.5 get paid 1.5 times your normal pay for overtime and then for um, just the normal variables here uh, integer int hours. You could do double for someone uh, 10 and a half hours or 10.75 or 40 point whatever. But just to keep these things simple we'll do integer here. And then double rate can obviously be 1050, 10.75, $20.80 or random numbers there. And then state obviously federal of the net pay and the gross pay. Okay, and then we'll, before we actually do anything here, we'll need to set the decimal point to two positions. Make sure we don't have any really long numbers here. Okay, see out, set F, iOS fixed. You must just have this set aside and copy and paste later for whenever you want to uh, set the decimal point position. Point and then precision to two places. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and display a greeting or name, whatever you want to do. So we'll do C out uh, house of tutorials. Let's spell this right. And then we'll go to make a couple lines just to make this neat. Backspace, backslash n. Okay, we'll start our do while loop. Do while loop to get the hourly rate. Start with do, of course. Get our open curly bracket and our closed one. Okay, for here, we'll go ahead and have the opening message here. See out. Please enter a value between uh, 10 and let's say 20. It's a pretty big range, but just an example. Hourly rate, a little space there. Okay, and then CN for the user endpoint, uh, input. We do rate, that's the variable. Once whatever they type in will become this variable, become rate. 
Okay, and then while rates is greater than 10, the lines equals or to them, to those, it's or, it's above, enter, and below the backspace button on the keyboard. Uh, hours still on rate, less than 20. Okay, it's just to make sure they type in a value between 10 and 20. Okay, see out, we'll go ahead and end the line here. Line, separate that. And then we'll do a while loop for hours here. I want to make sure hours is set to zero from the beginning. While hours greater than one or hours less than 60. Uh, you will want to make sure you do hours here and hours here as well. If you just do hours less than or greater than one or less than 60, it's not going to know what to do. You have to have the variable there as well. Start our curly, end it. Okay, same thing from before. See out. Please enter value between one and let's do 60 hours. Uh, worked. Space there. And once again, for user input, will be hours, hours variable. Okay, we'll go to calculate uh, the pay here with an if statement. We need an if statement because if it's more than 40 hours, then it has to be overtime, which is overtime rate. So we'll do if hours is greater than 40, gross equals 40 times rate. So that's the normal rate. So if you get 60 hours, 40 of it will be normal. Plus hours minus 40, determining how many hours are overtime. So if it's 60, we'll have the first 40 will be normal, plus 60 minus 40. So we have 20 hours of overtime there. Times rate, whatever the user inputted for how much you're getting paid. And then the constant variable times overtime rate here. It's always 1.5. So it's kind of a long thing just for overtime, but it's necessary here. Uh, else, or otherwise, gross equals hours times rate. So if they're 40 or below, it's just normal rate, whatever they put in there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and uh, calculate here the taxes and the net pay as well after gross. So federal taxes equals gross times the constant that uh, variable here, federal rate, and then state tax variable equals gross times the state constant variable there, and then net pay. After everything, we'll go in gross. We originally earned subtracting state tax and federal tax. We just calculated those right here. So those will appear here now. And as well with this, if you wanted to, you could add more things on here. Like if you want to, have a, if you have a savings account, you want say 5% taken out, you just comma add some savings underscore rate, all capitalize equals 0.055%. And then you add that down here and then add that in here as well. Quick example here, pretty basic. And then the very end, we'll go ahead and display the results. Okay, so see out. We'll go ahead and end line from the previous spot up here. Make sure there's a break again from the please enter value part for the hours. And this part takes a little bit here, so we'll go ahead and we'll just do the first couple lines to show you hourly rate, this is what's being displayed. And then 
you want the variable rate and the line. Next will be hours worked. And then you have hours variable right afterwards and then line. I'm going to type the rest of this out for the gross pay, federal tax, state tax, and net pay. And then I'll be right back, so you have to watch me type this all out. Okay, so we have the uh, little display finished here. Make sure this is all one display, so you don't have to have C out, C out, C out, C out, C out. So at the very end, make sure you have the semicolon there. Okay, and that's pretty much it. You can have another uh, display if you want. C out, thank you, or whatever, but we don't really need that, so we'll just do this for now. Okay, there's no errors. We'll go ahead and debug without, uh, start without debugging, or control F5 here, so when we enter the values, it doesn't close the screen right away. Okay, everything looks good here. As tutorials, please enter value. So for the loops, uh, those are for validation, so they don't enter any crazy values. Obviously, $50,000 per hour, or like 500 hours, whatever. So if we do $25 per hour, it doesn't work. If we do nine, even 20.001, it's not gonna work. So we'll just do something simple, 10 bucks an hour. Same thing here with the loop. Uh, if we do half an hour, oh, well, that's not good. We'll go ahead and close out there. Huh. 10, we'll just do, doesn't like that for some reason, going less. But 65, whatever, so we'll do, let's do 60 so we can see overtime here. Okay, so 10 and 60, that would normally be, so 40 hours of that's normal, so 10 times 40 would be 400. We have 300 extra, so 20 hours. 1.5 times 10 is 15, so 20 times 15 gives you that $300. So gross pay is 700. And then the federal tax, out of this 700, $105 is federal tax, so that's 15% of 700. 5% is $35, so you're left with $560 for your paycheck. Okay, that's pretty simple. There's a little bit of code, it's not too terribly bad. You don't need the loops, but this is a good idea, habit for data validation. Just so know anything crazy happened like earlier, for example, or less than freaked out there, but that's okay. Hey, but there you have it. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next video.